touch me. Touch me. <laughs> I was looking straight in the lens and I thought you were going to give me a kiss. <laughs> What up guys, Royal Madman here. It's a nice, beautiful day. One day until Friday. We got at Gorola83 here. Instagram, go check them out. Uh, we took in a stray. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably notice I got another car at the house. It is actually Gorola's 83's car. Um, little quick peek at it. This is a 48 GE swap car, 886 rad. Um, it's got like do-it-yourself T3 coilovers, super well done. I'm pretty sure he did the welding and stuff on there. So, uh, 886 rear coilovers, pretty much, you know, just the basic Corolla stuff. So, it's very basic. I wouldn't say it's very basic. It's well done, even though. People, this car looks super unassuming. People either look at it and say it's a rat rod. Some people say it's a bomber. It's a beautiful car it's either fine. way. It's his car. It's a beautiful car. Uh, but what's going on with it is that actually pretty, pretty bait. We got to do some maintenance to it. So we're going to do a custom 4K Dizzy. It had one in it. We changed it out, tried running uh, 886 or traditional Dizzy in it the way the wiring and stuff is set up until it gets changes or until we change it um we're gonna modify it and make the 4k dizzy actually work like properly and then we just got to do some carb work and then just basic maintenance just go ahead retime the car and it's pretty much ready to go i mean if we really wanted to after he gets done with the carbs we could get those carbs on here and this car will run so there's actually nothing really wrong with it it's just Getting it more road worthy and uh, ready for the summer so we can do some cruising because he's itching to drive his car. It's been quite a while. So how much time how much time do you think has been between you driving your car since the last time you drove your car? A little over a year. The last time I drove my car, I drove it down the street and it wasn't firing right. So. Yeah, we did. Uh, that's when we swapped over to the 4AGE Dizzy. Yeah, but the problem was we found out afterwards that two of the slides on the carbs weren't doing anything, remember? Yep. It could actually just completely be a carb issue. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Like I was just telling them, um, we're just not going to have a vacuum advance with the 4AGE. Hold on, let me change this lighting so you guys can see me better. Um, a lot of it, like he just said, is most likely just carbs. Even though we're running a 4AGE Dizzy on it right now, it just means it doesn't have a vacuum advance because we can't electronically run it on this car because it's not set up for it. There's no MSD box or anything like that. It's based off of old, uh, I believe it's a... Uh, Club 4A GE form on the internet, which can still be found. Shit was put together really old school. Yeah, old school. Old school internet form stuff uh, is this swap. So it's pretty unique compared to uh, my car, which is all blown out over there. doing let's explain to the people what you're doing um i'm getting my carbs probably dirtier than i 
am clean. Nonsense. Figure out how to get a strip screw out of my out of my carbs. So why don't we? Uh, how about how about this? So this is a this is a 1983 Toyota Corolla AE71, correct? Yes. Okay. It is for a GE swap. That that will be a different story for a different day, I think. I think you tell them the story about this car and how you got the car because I think it's interesting. That's what I think. Uh, about eight years ago. Uh, eight years ago, I worked at a gas station, and I saw the car come in. Some old guy was driving it, and. Um, Told him that I really wanted it, and he was really confused on why somebody would want an 83 Corolla. And so, uh, he said maybe he'd sell it to me if he got another car. And I didn't see him again for a while, because it was, it was the first time I saw the car, ever. And he eventually came back, uh, like two months later, in a different car. He started asking me questions at random, he's like, you know some guy named well, Dan that works here? Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, he walked into the store and you just happened to be there. Well, no, it was, he came in a different car. I was pumping his gas. and uh, Which, here in Oregon, you can't pump your own gas, so people get paid to pump gas for you. I used to do that. But anyways, um, he pumped the dude's gas. He was in, in like an wow. 80s prelude. And he started asking questions. He's like, some guy named Dan work here? I was like, well, my manager's name is Dan. He's like, no, that's not him. He's Blah, blah, blah. Some kid was asking to buy my Corolla. And I was like, oh, shit, that's me. He's like, oh, well, somebody gave me this 80-something prelude. He's like, so now I can sell you my Corolla. I was like, cool. So I ended up getting his number and whatnot. And probably a couple weeks later, I went and test drove the car. Um, and that's when I took the first pictures of it. And test drove the car. bought the car a week later. Um... Going through all of the paperwork that was still in the car. The car was bone stock. Um, and it still had all the paperwork and whatnot from the previous owners. It still had the um, the owner's manual from when the person bought it. And so I looked through the owner's manual. This is back when, like, you didn't have to lock your doors at night and shit. And so um, this the lady who bought the car put her address in the back of the book. And come to find out, the lady who bought the car from the lot in 1983 lived two blocks away from a house I grew up in. And so it's like a huge possibility that when I was a kid riding my bike around the neighborhoods, I probably saw this car before. And then it's like 30, 30 some odd years later, I bought the car 140 miles from there in a different town at random. And I still have, still have the original window sale sticker. The car sold for sixty six hundred dollars off the lot in Portland. Now that's pretty rad. So yeah. how many how many years have you owned the car since you bought the car and you paid? I'm assuming cash. How many years have you owned it since that moment? Um, ironically, it'll be eight years, give or take a couple days. Eight years, eight years. His first car, daily drives it. Well, used to daily drive it, daily but it's a it's a daily driver. It's a cruiser. But, uh, yeah. Passion, emotional attachment. I've owned the car for eight years. Uh, daily drove it for six. So, how many people do you think you've met, literally just because of this car? Like, do you think this has changed your life, or do you think your life would have been different without this car? My life definitely would have been different without this. Um, Isn't that wild? Yeah, a, a piece of square metal yeah, does that. Because because of this, you and I like hang out all the time. And yeah, I've met Jamie and Zach. I've met all my friends from Roseburg. Like. We used to ride BMX, and I'm pretty sure we've rode together, uh, but, one point, yeah. I mean, neither one of us really realized it until, like, I bought one, and we were trading some parts one day. You got, actually got some carbies off of me, and I got a Ford Speed transmission off, or off them, but even though we yeah, sold him a T40. <laughs> knew of each other, T40s are good. I don't care what people say. Yeah, as um, long as you don't go on the freeway. But it was really these car, this car, or these cars. Hey, 
Hey. That brought us together, so. No. It's pretty crazy. Little square death trap of a economy used to be crushed kind of car. So. Alright guys, well hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of like a uh, backstory behind this car and how at Gorolla 83 uh, acquired it. I always thought it was kind of interesting so we decided to do stuff a little bit different, kind of a vlog style. Uh, like I said, goal here shortly is just literally get this thing back on the road and cruising. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and finish uh, taking off the rest of the rust and then we're going to clear coat it. So. Hopefully it doesn't get all rusty and stuff again. So say peace out or do some kind of outro, dude. Something. Bye, are you well in chat? Later. <laughs>